We begin tonight with a dramatic rescue operation near the top of Mount Hood in Oregon. Mount St. Helens. Mount St. Helens. Mount St. Helens. Saint A swarm of small earthquakes rattled Mount Rainier this morning as we give you a live look at the mountain. Pacific Northwest, home to lush forests, rugged coastlines, and soaring mountains, has always been defined by its ancient, restless geology. Now, beneath the calm of its evergreen slopes, new readings from seismic instruments and satellites are hinting at unprecedented subterranean activity. On July 8th, 2025, scientists at the U.S. Geological Survey's Cascades Volcano Observatory and the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network reported a discovery so momentous it triggered heightened alarms. The detection of what appears to be a hidden network beneath Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, and Mount Hood. Satellite analysis and seismic patterns led researchers to consider the possibility of deep interconnected channels beneath the earth, prompting the USGS to issue a rare red alert, the highest level of volcanic warning. This alert sent shockwaves through scientific and emergency planning communities. Red alerts are only issued when new hazards or strong eruption potential are recognized. The evidence, unusual seismic swarms and deep heat signatures prompted scientists to ask whether the region's volcanic heart might be gearing up for increased activity. In a parallel development, cracks discovered in the bed of the Mississippi River raised concerns and furthered questions about the interconnectedness and reach of deeper geologic forces at work across the continent. What does it mean when volcanoes that have stood in silence for centuries show signs of new underground activity? Are these events isolated, or could they be threads of a more profound geologic tapestry beneath North America? Today, we explore the science, history, and lingering mysteries that ripple through the Cascades as we seek to understand just how much, or how little, we know about the living Earth below our feet. The titans of the Northwest, Rainier, St. Helens, and Hood, towering over the Pacific Northwest, Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, and Mount Hood have shaped the identity, ecology, and imagination of the region for generations. Each is a monument to the powerful geologic forces that continue to define this landscape. Mount Rainier, the highest of the three at 14,411 feet, is the iconic backdrop to Seattle. Its slopes are cloaked in snow and glaciers, but what sets Rainier apart is its enormous volume of ice and the hazards that presents. Rainier is considered one of the most dangerous volcanoes in North America, not just for the threat of eruption, but because its glaciers can quickly melt, causing massive lahars, volcanic mud flows that could devastate downstream communities. To Rainier's south, Mount St. Helens stands as a constant reminder of volcanic unpredictability. Its summit was reshaped on May 18, 1980, when a cataclysmic eruption destroyed forests, changed river courses, and created a crater visible today. Though the 1980 blast is the region's most famous in living memory, St. Helens has remained an active volcano with ongoing unrest and smaller eruptions recorded in recent decades. Farther south, Mount Hood is Oregon's tallest mountain, rising 11,239 feet above sea level. Though known for its scenic beauty and recreation, Hood is an active stratovolcano with a documented history of small eruptions and geothermal activity within the last 200 years. All three are part of the Cascade Volcanic Arc, a chain of volcanoes stretching from Northern California to British Columbia, formed by the ongoing subduction of the Juan de Fuca Plate beneath North America. While scientists have long known these volcanoes are related through deep tectonic processes, the current observations suggest a more dynamic and possibly more closely linked system than previously recognized. 
Was this web of activity missed until now due to technical limitations? Or are we simply witnessing new, emerging processes within an ever-changing Earth? The search for answers continues. A discovery from the depths, unveiling the magma tunnels. On that notable July morning in 2025, as seismic monitors across the Cascades identified new tremor patterns and unusual clusters of earthquakes, attention turned skyward to satellites equipped with advanced thermal imaging and radar technology. Scientists at the USGS and Pacific Northwest Seismic Network identified patterns of deep heat and magnetic disturbance below the Cascade Range. Markers that, while not literal tunnels, indicated possible interconnected magmatic pathways or zones of weakness within the crust. While it's important to note that satellites alone cannot literally see physical magma tunnels, the combination of satellite data, seismic swarms, and ground-based observations suggested zones where magma movement might be occurring at depth, potentially linking the magmatic systems of Rainier, St. Helens, and Hood. Such magmatic connections, if confirmed, would challenge earlier assumptions that the volcanoes operate in relative isolation. Decades of geological study have shown that most volcanoes are fed by their own chamber systems and that long-distance magmatic connections are rare, if not unprecedented, in the Cascades. Still, the possibility of deep crustal interaction and shared stress responses among closely spaced volcanoes is well established in volcanology. The observed thermal anomalies and coinciding seismicity are compelling enough to prompt further study and heightened vigilance. The current hypothesis suggests that pressure changes in one volcano's magma chamber might impact others along deep zones of weakness or partial melt, a concept with profound implications for hazard assessment and risk. Could increased pressure or eruption at one site lead to increased instability or activity at another? That question is at the leading edge of current research in volcanology. The exact nature and extent of these possible connections remain under scientific review, but the recent data is clear. The volcanic systems of the Pacific Northwest are awake and warrant close monitoring. The Science of Eruption magma, pressure, and the red alert. Issuing a USGS red alert is exceptionally rare and signals the highest state of awareness for volcanic hazard. A red alert combined with an alert level warning and aviation color code red indicates scientists have identified new evidence of potential eruption hazards or heightened unrest. At the heart of any volcanic system is a delicate equilibrium. As magma accumulates below the Earth's surface, pressure increases within underground reservoirs. Most of the time, this pressure is contained, but occasionally fractures or weaknesses allow it to escape in eruptions of varying scale. The defining concern in July 2025 was the synchrony and intensity of seismic tremors beneath all three volcanoes. While the exact physical linkages remain an area of academic debate, the rapid increase in tremor and associated thermal anomalies raise the possibility of coordinated stress changes or magma movement at depth. Even the suggestion of shared pathways or magmatic interaction requires close observation, since instability in one chamber can, in theory, affect another. Scientists are monitoring a suite of signals, ground swelling or subsidence, changes in volcanic gas release, new or intensified seismic swarms and measurable temperature shifts. Combined, these may point toward preparations for eruption. The red alert also immediately notifies aviation authorities. Since volcanoes can suddenly issue ash plumes hazardous to jet engines and airspace, though the prospect of a domino effect across multiple volcanoes is still speculative and has limited precedent in the geologic record, the red alert focuses attention on readiness, research, and timely public information. The region's communities are reminded to review emergency plans and remain attentive to official updates. The living memory of catastrophe, St. Helens, and the power of eruption. 
The eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980 remains one of the most significant volcanic events in U.S. history, an enduring lesson in volcanic hazards and community response. The eruption, preceded by a series of earthquakes and steam explosions, culminated in a massive debris avalanche and lateral blast that devastated hundreds of square miles. Cities and farms downwind were covered in ash, and the event led to new approaches in volcano monitoring nationwide. St. Helens has remained active since, producing smaller eruptions and dome growth with continuous monitoring, a top scientific priority. These cycles of volcanic growth, rest, and eruption underscore the complexity and unpredictability of the Cascade volcanoes. The current situation draws direct attention to what lessons have and have not been learned since 1980. While shared unrest between nearby volcanoes has occasionally been documented in the scientific literature, there is no recorded precedent for simultaneous major eruptions triggered by direct magma tunnels between these giants. However, Regional stresses can cause patterns of earthquakes and minor eruptions to echo across a volcanic arc. For now, scientists are keyed to the rise and fall of seismic swarms as possible signs of shared instability. Would an eruption at St. Helens trigger direct activity at Rainier or Hood or vice versa? No historical event has demonstrated this in the Cascades, but new monitoring data has prompted extreme caution and an intensified focus on intervolcano processes. As science advances, the mountain's past remains an ever-present guide to facing an uncertain future. Hidden networks, cracks in the Mississippi, and far-reaching effects. The July 2025 discoveries grew more intriguing and complex as reports surfaced regarding cracks in the bed of the Mississippi River, thousands of miles from the Cascade Range. While these phenomena may seem unrelated, their concurrent timing has led geologists to consider broader patterns of crustal movement or deeper seismic influences across the continent. It is critical to clarify that at present, there is no known mechanism by which cascade volcano activity could directly trigger cracks in the Mississippi Riverbed. More likely, both events are independent reflections of ongoing geologic processes in different tectonic settings subduction in the Pacific Northwest and sedimentary basin evolution in the continental interior. Still, when such unusual occurrences happen at the same time, they highlight the power and unpredictability of Earth's ongoing geologic activity. Cracks in riverbeds can result from a range of factors, sediment collapse, changed water flow, regional earthquakes, or gradual subsidence. While not definitively tied to volcanic activity, these events are reminders that no region of the continent is completely insulated from geologic change and underscore the need for robust national earth monitoring systems. The prospect of a continent-spanning network influencing distant regions remains speculative. For now, science supports the need for continued study and improved understanding of Earth's interconnected dynamic systems, even while most observed effects can be explained by regional geologic activity. Monitoring the giants, technology, satellites, and emergency response. The ability to monitor volcanoes has evolved dramatically, where people once relied solely on visual observations. Now a sophisticated web of satellites, ground sensors, seismic networks, and gas analyzers provide near real-time data across vast regions. Advanced satellite imaging can detect changes in heat flow, minor ground deformation, and even subtle shifts in gas chemistry. Ground-based radar and GPS instruments track the inflation and deflation of volcanic domes and flanks, while dense networks of seismometers record thousands of small earthquakes linked to shifting magma. The evidence for possible magmatic connection came through unusual simultaneous increases in heat and seismicity across Rainier, St. Helens, and Hood. Signals interpreted not as proof of tunnels in a literal sense, but as possible markers of deep, dynamic, magmatic zones. These findings have prompted the USGS Cascades Volcano Observatory and others to maintain the highest level of watchfulness. 
sharing information rapidly between agencies and with the public. Aviation authorities, recognizing the dangers posed by volcanic ash, play a key role in red alert scenarios. Unraveling the new reality, ecology, economy, and the human element. The prospect of an intensifying volcanic threat impacts not just landscapes, but every dimension of life in the Pacific Northwest. Rainier, St. Helens, and Hood shape more than just the skyline. They anchor water supplies, define local ecosystems, and sustain communities through recreation and tourism. A significant eruption could profoundly affect river systems, air quality, forest health, and agricultural production. Lahars, ashfall, and landslides could close transport routes and damage infrastructure. The 1980 St. Helens eruption remains an instructive precedent with ash clouds grounding flights, disrupting power, and triggering emergency responses over a broad area. Communities surrounding these mountains live with both the beauty and risk of their volcanic neighbors. Red alert signals are a call to local and regional authorities to review evacuation procedures, test emergency systems, and refresh public awareness. Residents are advised to have contingency plans for rapid evacuation, disrupted utilities, and interrupted supply line. Mysteries unfolded. What lies beneath? The story of the Cascades is ongoing and ever more complex. As scientists probe deeper with new tools, our understanding grows, but so do our questions. Did previous generations miss hidden connections because their tools were less sensitive? Or is the Earth simply entering a new cycle of activity? The idea of direct, continuous tunnels of magma stretching between major volcanoes remains, for now, a hypothesis, one inspiring rich debate and urgent investigation. Most likely, complex networks of partially molten rock deep faults, and stress fields weave beneath the surface, interacting in ways only now coming into focus. What else might we discover as technology continues to advance? How much can we infer from heat signatures, tremors, and magnetic fluctuations? For now, the most responsible approach is vigilance, research, and humility before the vastness of geologic time and power. The Pacific Northwest stands as a landscape shaped by fire, ice, water, and the relentless pressure of shifting plates. The 2025 Red Alert is a call not only to prepare, but to study and respect the forces that continue to shape life in the shadow of volcanoes. It is a challenge to scientists and citizens alike to stay informed, to support ongoing research, and to foster resilience in the face of uncertainty. So as satellites circle, and seismometers listen for the next heartbeat beneath the mountains, we are reminded our view of the world is always deepening. Every tremor, every plume, every elusive signal is another piece in the puzzle of Earth's dynamic story. What fascinates you most about these discoveries? Is it the mystery of what lies beneath, the science driving our evolving understanding, or the enduring power of nature to surprise us? Share your thoughts below. For more stories about the hidden workings of our planet and the science unveiling them, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned. The next secret may be revealed just below the surface.